Hey planner peeps, it's your girl Shanice coming at you from Planners and Tacos. Tonight what we're going to do is we are going to try to plan in a PP Weeks. I am going to try to transition to or from an Erin Condren and into a PP Weeks. If you don't know what a PP Weeks is, it is a print pression planner. It's like a hobo size planner but it is by Kane from print pressions on instagram anywho like i said i am planning on leaving erin condra next year i'm kind of on the fence i'm giving myself until black friday when she usually has her sales to decide if i'm going to pick up a planner or not but i really do not like her um her new format and the vertical layout I just feel like it's a whole lot of unnecessary rounded corners, unnecessary um, calendars on the week on each weekly page, unnecessary hexagon box on the pages. It just does not look good. And even though I do cover up most of my planner, I just feel like it's just unnecessary. So I plan to make the switch. Um, so. If I do decide to really go with the switch, I am going to be in a PP Weeks. The PP Weeks has both monthlies and weekly pages and then also note pages. It has enough for you to plan a whole year if you do two pages on or um a week on two pages, but me I plan on you doing a week on four pages. So I would need to have two PP weeks in order to complete complete a full year. So I decided to go ahead and test out a layout just to see if I'm even gonna like it because I feel like if I test it out now, I will be able to know before Erin Condren's sale if I need to go ahead and pick it up or not. And then I'll just figure out what else I can use this for. But I do want to use this for is a memory planner next year. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to plan a week. I do have dashboards in here from type A for Alexa that separates my pages from each other. So we're just going to slide this off here. Oh, I might need to work on that next time. Okay. So the kit that I am playing with today is from The Giving Girl. I got this in a, um, a grab bag. I think it is a was a oops grab bag, so I don't exactly know what's wrong with it at the moment, but we might find out while we are planning. So here are the full boxes. It has gold foiling on it. It may be a oops because the foreman is messed up in a couple spots, but, you know, I have a functional page here. So I didn't get a full kit or a full mini kit. So um, this is your date covers and bottom washi. So that's why I was like, I'll just play with this. Some work stickers. We're going to act like I work. <laughs> date numbers. And I did pull out a bougie box. Because I know a few people use this in their PP weeks just to extend the the um, planner. I am going to pull in some Simply Gilded Washi here. Gold inverted bows. Alright, so let's get started. Um, I think let's just do the bottom washi first. Okay, so the struggle was real with this bottom washi. I'm going to have to figure out or get me some type of like cheat sheet to use to cut up my washi. But anywho, I just cut up the bottom washi that came with the spread or with the kit and then use my Simply Gilded washi down below. And I did that on um, the four pages. I'm gonna go ahead and lay my headers down. Not my headers, sorry y'all, my date covers. So I had to take a little intermission a few minutes ago because my babies had came back downstairs with their daddy. 
Um, they had just took a bath. And so then I thought that they were gonna stay up. And I was gonna have to do a voiceover, but they decided to go upstairs and go to bed because it is kind of late. I see now why this was in the oops. It's um some of the stuff is cut incorrectly. Okay, so So all I'm doing is laying down my date covers. I really hope that I like this layout because I really do want to not be in my Aaron Condren. Let me take that back. I don't not want to be in my Aaron Condren, but I just don't. I really don't want that layout, and I hope that she goes back and changes it for the June release. I think we usually get a June release, so I hope she goes back and changes it a little bit, but I also feel like maybe we're not gonna get a change because everybody's gonna be used to it by then, so. Anywho, I'm not gonna date these since this is just a play spread. But this is already coming out cute, y'all. Erin, uh, we might be saying bye. Okay. So on Monday, I think that I will try to put my full boxes in the middle. Well, I don't know if this is really technically the middle, but I think this is where I would want to put my boxes if this was a regular spread. So that's what we're going to do. I am going to a meetup on tomorrow, Saturday. I can't wait. I have so much fun at meetups. Do y'all go to meetups? Do y'all have like local meetups where y'all at? So I'm in three planner groups. Well, no, I'm in more than three, but I'm in three that I make sure to watch out for. I try to make sure I'm able to make it to them. All of them do once a month. And it's usually on a Saturday. Yeah, so we go once a month. And so it ends up working out because I don't know if they know that they be having they plant you know, the days that they had their meetups, but I'm usually able to go to each one. Well, I haven't been to my third one. I have not been there yet, but I, um, I plan to try to make it to one because you just meet a whole lot of different people. Like each group just has a different vibe, if you know what I mean. So, what I did, and I did a white. Yeah, I see that um, this was an oops kit. But it's still not bad, though. So, I really want this to work out because I just bought um, a mystery box from Kane at Print Impressions. And what that means is I am, God damn it, let me take it off. Cause this double box is actually a double box. It's not like separated. So like I was saying, I just bought 
a mystery kit from or a mystery box from print Precious during the planner boss collective sale and what that means is that i am going to be getting a full pp weeks and a pp weeks cover or he calls it a what does he call it oh i think he just calls it weeks so a weeks cover so i'll have my two weeks that i'm going to need for the year and that means that i won't have to buy anything else for the year if i like how this turns out and like i really hope i like it because that way i'm not spending so much money because i'm gonna have to go i have to put myself on punishment your girl is out here tripping that's kind of cute can y'all see that oh yeah this right here is about to be lit we're gonna act like i have i know my work schedule for this week <laughs> And we are going to mark that I'm going to work. I always plan on Sundays and I just mark um or I just basically lay out my stickers. So I'm a plan as I go girl if you didn't know. And I'm sad because I'm about to waste I'm about to waste my cute um work stickers. But this is the only way you're gonna really know if you like something is if you play in it, right? Oh, that's cute. I should zoom y'all in, huh? Maybe y'all like that better. I had fun on Instagram this week. <laughs> My DMs were nice, and I really like when I'm able to interact with everybody because I just love talking to y'all. Yeah, that's cute. Look. Oh, okay. So then I would probably say, um... Well, I'll probably flip it like this because I'll probably put like some type of icon right there. Mm -hmm. And then let's see, we'll put some blue down below, like a checklist. Oh, I didn't use one, of, I didn't use a bougie box. I messed up. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Now, normally, I don't really use checklists, but for this video, we'll, we'll use them. Just so I can see, because because this isn't really a, um, a kit format that I would use. Well, I probably would use her kit format, but because it was oops, I didn't get all the pages. So, 
I don't have the things that I normally would have. So we're just gonna make it work. Okay, and then we're going to add like, it's a payday week. Y'all, this is turning out short. I normally don't use to-do headers, but we will today. So we're gonna put a little to-do right there and laundry. And then I should just put a cute bow. Okay, and then let's see what else we got in here. Uh, we still need to do our sidebar, so let's go back. So I think I'm going to still do my sidebar about the same. Okay, y'all, so this is what I came up with. I have my sidebar here. I usually put a full box, some separators like washi, Instagram followers, two habit trackers and my dinners. And then I was able to do um, a full box on each page or each day. And I just marked fake stuff down here. I think I would like it a lot more if I had all the things that I needed. But overall, I think this came out kind of cute. So here it is more close up. And I did have a little malfunction down here because... I had cut through the page 
when I was doing my bottom washi. But um, I don't know if you can really see it. So I ended up having to just move over the washi so that my page wasn't cut or moving too much. But here's the second half of the week. I think it's really cute. I think that I would love looking at this at the end of the year. Um, tell me what you think, y'all. I think it's going to be kind of cute. Um, I feel like I need to do another spread just to see how I feel, but I kind of don't want to waste any kits. <laughs> but I think I do like it. Just picture it, you open up your planner and this is what you see. Yeah, this is kind of cute. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me as I am getting used to this planner and I hope you come back for more because like I said, this is probably going to be my main planner for 2020. If you like this video please like comment and if you want to see more please subscribe down below i will talk to y'all soon bye